In this video I'm going to show you uh, three examples of book trailers that I've made and then once I've sh you've seen them all I'll just go back through some of them and I'm just going to give you a couple of pointers and things maybe that I would improve um, and mistakes that I think I'd made um, while I was making them just so you don't make them yourself. So I'll just start off here with the first one that was for a book of mine called um, The Tale of Princess Lauren. So I'll just play it here and you can see it yourself. Now I'll just go back through that trailer again just one more time and some pointed some things to you. Um, now when I had created this book, this book was done with images from Shutterstock. So these are basically just images. I just put them straight on to make the trailer. As you can see now, some of these are in landscape mode. But there are other ones then, like this one here coming up now of Morag the Witch, which wasn't in that format. And because of that then there's just black space on both sides. Which I think takes a wee bit off the trailer, it doesn't look good as it was. Again, the giant then too, he was in a vertical pose. I hadn't got him in the um, horizontal one, so I think that just the big black space on either side of the image is, is a wee bit, you know, well, I can, from my opinion, I look at it's, it's a wee bit off. Um, and again, as you see here, it was just a simple taking some of the, the storyline at the very, very beginning and then left a bit of a, um, a cliffhanger. What's going to happen next to Princess Lauren? So if you move on to the next one then after that then we're going to have a look at Mike the Monkey was another one I had made. Again, like the last trailer there, um, some of the images I thought were just um, like the original image I have up here at the very beginning. I think it's not the best image I had, but unfortunately they were the images I had that I got from the Shutterstock. And um, just even some of the punctuation and the grammar I think is a wee bit off and it. I have question marks in maybe where I probably shouldn't have them. And again then too, there's this black space here on either side of the monkey. Um, as well too, even when I listen to the, the music that's accompanying this video, I just think it's not, I didn't make the best selection when I was putting it together. I don't think it actually helps it. Especially if there's kind of a lull here in the middle of the the thing. I think I had to loop the music again one more time to start it back up again. So I think the music is, isn't right for the, the video at all. So I'm just going to pause this one here. And then we we'll take a look at my next one. Now, these two were just kind of small, we just story books. But this one here, I'm going to do next was one on sharks, and it was just like in a facts kind of based book. And I'll just let you play it here, and just to give you an example of what it looks like.
Now again, as you can see here, the, the video was just simple slides with um, pictures. But with it being a facts book about, um, about sharks, I just thought it would make it more interesting to kind of intersperse the images with facts about sharks. So anybody who was actually who watched the, the trailer, maybe if they weren't even interested in buying the book, they would come away from watching the trailer and have known, learn a few facts about maybe sharks that they didn't actually know before. So I thought by putting the best um, facts here that I could, it would be more enticing for somebody to actually go and to buy the, the shark book. But again, I think the music um, is better than in the last trailer. And um, again, uh, some other things I would change about it too. At the time, there wasn't actually Kindle Unlimited on my books at that time. So I would probably need to go back through these uh, videos now and kind of edit the part at the end He's saying that um, you know the books are available in Kindle and can be downloaded instantly. And as well too, um, I've lost actually the domain name for, I used to own that domain name, smartwordbooks.com, and I don't own that anymore. So there's probably traffic maybe going to that website, maybe that from these videos that I'm not getting anymore. So that was just another mistake I'd made. I, I mistakenly let that domain name go and now somebody else has it. Um, so those are the kind of mistakes that I've made and just to show you if, just an example of the book trailers that you can do you can do kind of the story mode here like with Princess Lawrence was so basically just you know it's taking the start of the very beginning again just introducing your main character and we get to see what she's like and then just kind of a little bit about her you know she wants to adventure and then kind of a little bit more about her you know but what could be outside the kingdom walls and then there's a kind of a this is where it kind of turns a bit bad for her then and the story kind of kicks in so then as you can see it's getting the kind of tension is building and building and the, the viewer they're probably wondering what's happening next to her you know so all these kind of questions can't really be answered you know you're, you're trying to build questions in the viewer's mind like you know how can the the main character get back how can she do this how can she do that so you kind of build all these questions in the person's head and then you kick in then kind of with the book at the end then saying well all this can be revealed in blah 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 whatever your book is so it's just kind of way of just building the, the tension in the character and you know just coming in then with your book then at the last bit then so in the next video now i'm going to show you how to actually take movie maker and do what i did just kind of just a general kind of easy slides text and images just to make your your big trailer okay i'll see you in that video in a moment